Tuesday morning, everybody. Old love here, and welcome back to Dark Tales, Edgar Allan Poe's The Premature Burial. Now, this was supposed to be our Monday video, but uh, I wound up going out to a Halloween party Saturday night, and then Sunday, well, I got home about 4 o'clock Sunday morning, I wasn't sure if I was going to, if my, my headache and stuff was from the party or from the weather because we had two different fronts come through in the span of about 24 hours or less. Those two things combined just put me out for the day. Which was not exactly fun. So here we are. Uh, last time we got our little dart together and we... Uh, we, uh, we, we shot a dog with a dart soaked in ether. Now the dog is asleep, I can walk past, but he does not sound like he's sleeping. He sounds like he is in pain, which I am not okay with. That is, that is very bad thing. That is a very, very bad thing. Okay, so we have, we now have some clock weights. All right, so we can go past the dog. There's a stick in the way, we'll take the stick. I hate when that happens. Let's go for some brute force. Keeping in mind the need to proceed quietly. Right. So we're just gonna quietly break the door in. That doesn't make much sense. I need a, to hook the lattice to open it, okay. Well, that kind of has a hook on it, doesn't it? A seal that if you tamper with it, whoever placed it will know. He must not trust the servants. I would guess not. What you got cooking, buddy? A flask of water would do more than quench our thirst. I don't know how you did that without scalding your hand, but okay. Rather not suffer third degree burns. You already dipped it in the hot water. Come on. Melt the wax. And char the wood. Dupon. A hole to everything around him. Clock is missing weights. Yes, but we have clock weights. We don't have clock hands, though. All right, what's, uh, that needs a very interesting key. Ah. Okay, so the hour hand is too rusted, too rusty. All right. And I'm guessing we're gonna need the, the hour hand first. Okay, you there, you there, and we're done. We have a hook. Would you just, just do what you're, st thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay, and he hid the hour hand in his wall. How, how and why? I have no idea what time to set it for. Unless there's some kind of a time. Ooh, well, uh. Our hand exactly at the five, minute at the nine. Okay. Like that, yes. 
It's always it's always been kind of curious to me how so many people just like manage to to set up their stuff like oh hey you're gonna want this you're gonna want another clock later on to be exactly this time so I'm gonna set this clock outside my house set to the proper time and hopefully you pay attention to it. Uh, hi, ghost lady. Okay, so we have 26 out of the 33 roses we need. I need to tear off this, the chain with something sturdy. The metal rod would fit here. I mean the metal stick? Wow. I did not expect him to just, like, brute force hammer it and succeed. The rope holding the curtain says too high. Maybe we can use the stepladder. This rope will come in handy. Let's cut it off with the knife. I don't have a knife. Die killer. Oh, there's the knife. I thought we were going f to get the rope, but I guess not. Wasn't that what he was saying? Was the rope would come in handy? Let's cut it with the knife. But we just like, we're leaving the rope. Something metallic is buried here, but I don't want to get too close to the, the needles. There we go, we got the key. There was also a needle that came loose. We could pick that up. But I guess we don't really need it. Alright, so what did we get? We got a knitting needle. I'm sure that'll come in plenty handy. There's something under the carpet that can't be moved. I need to slit the carpet with a knife and take a look underneath. Man, he's just tearing this place up. And like, not in a good way. Unless I find the code, it seems useless to guess about it. Probably. Key go in here? Yes, it does. Click on a token to take it. Click it again on another one to replace it. Okay. So this would be like one in the sun in there. Okay, there we go. What does it say? Julian, my only light in this in the gloomy darkness of my life. Your heart is the only thing that keeps me in this world, but not for long. I'm afraid I'm ready to give everything I have to never be with Renel, but he will never let me go. Neither him nor this cursed disease which is gaining strength with each day. But whereas it was a burden before, now I look upon it as salvation. If I am doomed to a life without you in Renell's prison of cruelty, I am ready for death and accept it with open arms. Forgive me, my love. Okay, and we also have a brooch. Awesome. Can we pick the lock? Don't think that's how you normally pick a lock, but okay. Okay, so we need some sort of a jewel to go there. Oh, we can just open the doors down here. I thought maybe that I thought that was like, you know, gonna be locked or something. I mean that would have made sense, but hello. Well. If it isn't the little detective duo. I, I've heard of you both. Don't think I didn't know you'd come for me. Too bad for you that Louise's spirit beat you to it. 
Louise may think she has won, but I... I will laugh last. You've not won. Victorine is... is... No, Monsieur Fauré. What about Victorine? Is she still alive? Brunel was gloating, because he's known all along that Victorine is still alive. Wait, what is that in his hand? Looked like a chain. Ah, I'll take a cane too. Thank you, my friends. You have proven Renelle's guilt and I can now rest peacefully. Renelle will no longer be able to prey upon others simply to satisfy his own greed. Quick question, can you help us with Victorine or not? I'm gonna take that as a no. We haven't a minute to waste. We must find the remaining piece to the key of Victorine's crypt and find her while there's still a chance she yet lives. It must be somewhere here in the house. Well, you can definitely tell that he's in a rush. All right, so now I have a sword and a bottle of glue. And part of a code thing. Is there something else that I need to do here? Looks like Foy tried to burn the evidence in the fireplace. Let's retrieve it quickly. Yes, let's, but how? Oh. Thankfully, he wasn't good at building fires, apparently. Okay, so we have to put everything in the proper order this way first. Okay, so those look like... No. Okay, yes. So that looks like top. There we go. That's it, right? No? Oh, I guess not. There we go. That's better. I, Victorine Le Furque, ask you in the case of my death not to bury me until death has been absolutely confirmed. Since childhood, I have suffered from attacks of lethargy that can last for days. I wish not to be bequeath my prop. I wish not to be bequeath. I wish not to bequeath my property to my husband Renel Fore, but instead my love Julian Basset. Victorine Lafouque. Okay, so she knew about her death and everything like that. She knew what was going on, so she said, "Hey, don't bury me right away." And that brings us to the end of our time together today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy, I know some things you should meet me and my friends. Um, Even though we got this no is definitely a... Serial murder type situation. They were they they are dealing with stuff very specific. Uh, uh, guy guys. That's not cool.